this is my first dive on Deep Dive Adventures on sale at the moment in Nintendo eShop. So let's get stuck into the game and uh, hope you enjoy the gameplay. My first dive, so it's not going to be too pretty. Let's see if this game is any good. Hello there. You must be my new sidekick, yes? Professor Adams at your service. I see that you have already put on my old equipment. I'm glad you're my size, because I wouldn't be able to afford you a new one. Ah, that's right. I would like to thank you for coming here and lending me a hand in my secret quest. I can't dive anymore, even if my life depended on it. So I'm eternally grateful. And we'll be doing the oceans and seas of the world a great favor. Now, before we begin, I think you should warm up before we hit the very deep waters. Luckily, there's no one around Misty Lagoon at this hour, so I guess we should get started there as soon as possible. I'll meet you there. Well, not in person, that is. Misty Lagoon. I have such fond memories of this place. Right! No daydreaming on the... Get your feet wet and slowly explore your surroundings. I hope that suit doesn't have any holes in it. Your objective is pretty simple. Collect anything you may think has some value, and I can sell, like coins, pots, minerals, and other valuables. This will help our quest, and there's a container somewhere around these parts. So if you happen to come across it, find out if there's some treasure inside. Don't worry. We're not robbing anybody. We're just cleaning the underwater world from things that don't belong in there. You're doing a big favor for all of us. Just hurry up when you see it, okay? Commonly known as the most peaceful of diving sites, Misty Lagoon holds its good reputation thanks to its pleasant and calm waters, as well as the beautiful and endangered coral reef. Often called rainforests of the sea, coral reefs form some of the world's most diverse ecosystems and are estimated to cover 115,000 square miles, which is under 0.1% of the ocean's entire surface area. You can view and change your control settings in the pause menu. Your primary task is to collect valuable items that are scattered in the depths. Locate the first item and pick it up. Okay, rope boat wreck. All right then. Oh, getting used to it. Guess it's definitely not the way to swim. Great. Sinking. You've just collected your first item. Keep an eye out for other items and try to find that container.
definitely a movement when you're swimming is uh, kind of taking time to get used to. Another half hour of this game and I'll have the swimming down to a T. But obviously your gear upgrades, the more XP you get. So I should be able to swim like a shark very soon. Use your flashlight in dark areas. Remember that you can use it only for a limited amount of time. objects into harmless molecules. You can also use the eco gun to scare off predators if they attack you. And this diving it's really getting uh, a little bit tricky just while getting used to let's see what's in here scanner. Use this prototype device to detect and mark all items worth your attention in your immediate environment. The scanner will detect interesting items as well as environmentally harmful contaminants. Time to save the marine life. Use the scanner and find a contaminated creature.
Okay. That's cool. Everything just goes puff. So that's a weapon. Scaring away sharks and stuff and destroying objects. Okay. The scanners. Yeah, getting used to this. My diving skills are a lot to be desired. But so far this game isn't bad. Poof. That's garbage. So that's okay. Give me some garbage. Well, I swam round just briefly. It's time to get out of the water. Thanks for watching. If you're thinking of getting this on sale, why not? I think it's definitely worth four quid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more gameplay. Keep that in mind. 